Good morning, friends. It's a bins day. It is 8.10 here in the morning. I'm getting ready to drive over to the bins. I will be very early. <laughs> As you guys know, <clears throat> I'm clearing my throat. As you guys know, I am perpetually early, but it's kind of fun. I stand in the line and it's mostly resellers showing up there, whether they have a brick and mortar store or they sell vintage t-shirts or whatever. So it's kind of fun just to listen to everyone talk about their reselling game. So um, maybe my friend Renee will show up. I think Catherine's out of town. These are friends that I've met, viewers here on the channel, who I now have met and can go thrifting with. So that's really fun. So hope we find some good stuff. I'm always excited to share a haul of you of things that I buy to resell on eBay and Poshmark. Do you want to see the front porch plants again? I think I've shown them to you before, but here's my front, my front porch world. I have my begonia and my succulents. They do really well here. Everyone says, oh, Quimby, you must be really good with the plants. No, I'm really not. It's just I get things that are like hard to kill. My little front porch. This thing has gone crazy, right? This, al this aloe plant. I'm trying to get this little succulent to grow. It's starting to. So I think we're going to have a great day together. Okay, this is my first cart check-in. Um, a really good start. I have some awesome brands in here I can't wait to share with you guys, but I haven't looked at them yet. Like, you know how you find something really good and it's like, oh, I don't even want to look. Little Eileen. Um, pair of Thieves. I saw a pack. This is my favorite new brand, you guys. So this is really, really good. But I haven't checked the condition yet and I'm a little afraid gonna find like a big hole in everything or something you know kind of busy so far okay I have to show this with you just because it's so funny hold on how am I gonna lay it out look at this tank top tell me when you get it <laughs> it's hippie chick with an actual embroidered chick and hippie is that not funny someone probably needs it okay let me show you this well it'll be easier to show you in my cart let me get back to my cart i just found a pendleton wool blazer which i think will be really good i have some great stuff in my cart over there however i haven't looked through it yet so it's so sad when you go to look through it and Ooh, made in Italy. You guys know I love that. Let's go look through my cart so I can show you some good stuff. But first, I'm digging through this bin. Oh my god. Ugly Christmas sweater party. My friend Renee showed up and she's found some good stuff. So happy to be at the bins. This is my place. In the trashy. <laughs> found this piece in the last, my last and final round of the day. This is Margaret O'Leary. This is such an expensive brand. If you guys go to their website, sometimes it's carried at Anthropology, but um, not always. And look at what a cute item that is. I just have to sort through this last little bit, and then I'm ready to go. I found a lovers and friends sweatshirt, sweater dress. So this is sold at the brand at the website Revolve. So that's a really cute sweater, sweater dress. Okay, that was an awesome men's day. It was awesome because I found stuff easily I didn't have to get stuff that I was not that interested in just because I need stuff to list. The first round was probably the best, but I mean, I think it was a really good day. I have some really great brands to share with you, so I look forward to doing the haul. Saw my friend Renee, which is the best. Saw all the regular resellers, always fun to see what people are up to. Um, now I'm gonna go meet Petey, I think, for some Chick-fil-A, if he'll meet me. I like to get the Cobb salad 
and a cold brew. So that's what I do after my bins day. It was pretty good though. I found some amazing stuff. So I'll put it in a haul for you and um, I have some brands I wanna make sure you know. Okay friends, it is now time for the Goodwill Outlet bins haul part of the program. I spent $132, I think I did really well. You're not gonna see all of that or we'd be here all day unless I go super, super fast. Let's just see how we do. Let's jump in. It was an awesome day at the bins. I'm very excited about it. This is a 100% linen shirt by Tahari in a size medium. I don't pick up a lot of Tahari, but I do pick up their linen stuff because it's all sold. This is just a black boxy linen tee. I might try that on myself. Oh no, here we go starting again. <laughs> with all the stuff that Quemby buys that she's supposed to resell on eBay and Poshmark, but half of the stuff is like, oh, I'm keeping that. <laughs> this I got because it's an XXL, so a 2X, and it's 100% linen. Love it, navy blue, pleated front, V-neck. It's by Vince Camuto. Again, not a brand I go out of my way to look for, but I will buy it based on the piece. I love this piece. You know what's done well for me in Vince Camado? Camado? Is that how you say it? Camuto? Camuto Camado? Tomato Tomato? Oh my God, why do you watch my channel? Why? <laughs> anyway, the dresses in Vince Camuto, kind of like semi-formal dresses have done well for me. Okay, this is Hannah Anderson. I talk about this brand a lot on my channel because it's a kid's brand that can sell well, but these are just like ribbed leggings. So what I do is I kind of lot it up. So I'll lot together a little outfit or a few pairs of t-shirts and leggings, and then I can sell it for more of it. It's very expensive kid's stuff, so I pick it up. There's some good stuff, here we go with the good stuff, you guys. It was just one of those easy days at the bins where it's like, I kept finding stuff. When, the last time I went, it was a struggle to fill an Ikea bag. This time, it was almost like I was getting such good stuff and I'm very, very, very grateful. This is one of my favorite brands right now, Pact. P-A-C-T, see that tag? I would suggest looking up and selling almost everything in this brand. This has replaced Lululemon for me or Athleta. It's an eco-friendly brand and everything I bought in it have sold. I've sold hoodies, I've sold tank tops, I've sold leggings, everything. So are you guys finding this? And I think this is a particularly good piece because it's a dress, a sweatshirt dress with pockets and a great rose color. It's an extra small. If you're seeing anything and you're like, I need that, um, my store and closet and all ways to contact me and everything is in all the words below this video, the description section. You have to drop down the little arrow and you'll see all my stuff down there. This is Anthropology Meadow Rue. It's really great. It's a size medium. Meadow Rue, I just unboxed an entire Helpsy source box of Anthropology. Have you guys seen that video yet? An entire box of different Anthropology brands. If you want to learn more about which brands are Anthropology, um, check that out. This is a tunic. Oh no, I better not try it on because look at all the embroidery lace cut out. Oh, it's very lightweight. It's almost like a mesh knit. So you'd have to wear a tank or something, but then look at the hemline. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. I'm wearing one of my Johnny Was pieces, heavily embroidered Johnny Was top. This one's unique because it has that gingham underneath, gingham print. That might go in the pile for Gwenby to try on. Now the good news about that is Everything I try on doesn't fit, so <laughs> it probably ends up going back to eBay. This is a really good find. I just saw this, and I'm like, oh, big scratchy men's blazer. That's not my thing. But then I see the tag, made in the USA, and I recognized that blue tag with that yellow font. So I opened up the lapel to find this vintage Pendleton tag. This is a men's vintage wool pendleton keep your eye out for that tag and it's got the elbow patches so i think this is going to sell well it's a large tall i believe no a 42 long so that's probably like an extra large if you want to learn more about pendleton tags you can just google it and the font and things on the tag will let you know what years it was so if i if you see pendleton men's wool shirts pick them up even if they have a little hole or something they usually sell around forty dollars for me 
This is a little Patagonia at the Binnies. I'm so grateful. This is a, you know, let's just get real with Patagonia. I hear people talking about it and here's the thing. I love the brand personally. It's very expensive and it has sort of like a cult following. People love their Patagonia, but it doesn't sell as great as it used to. So I suggest if you're paying full price, look things up. I just still get so excited about it because like this is just a plain women's black hooded sweatshirt, really nice material. And the only Patagonia it has is this embroidered Patagonia on the chest. People who wear this brand, they like to see like Patagonia because they want everyone to know they spent a lot of money on it. I don't know why they do, but they do. Size small. So just being honest, this is organic cotton. So that's good. I can use eco-friendly organic in my title. You know, I don't, this is a sweatshirt, so it's better than like a t-shirt or a tank. I don't know what I can get for this, but not, probably not too exciting. This I kind of got for myself, but it is anthropology. If you can find Patagonia fleece outerwear and stuff like that, or something with a big spell out, that's probably worth paying up for. This is anthropology, and it is kind of a tunicky top. It has a burnout distress look, but then it has that knot. So for someone like me who's middle-aged with a little mama belly, all body positive over here, a little knot like that is a lovely distraction. So I might, Quimby file. <laughs> Honestly, you guys, I do resell all this stuff. I'm not a death pile hoarding person. I'm okay having a few bins of stuff. That's great, because I don't know when I can get sourcing next. Um, but I list all this stuff, I really do. I'm joking around about keeping stuff, because I do, but I'm also a reseller that really does list everything. This is Horny Toad. I know that's an older piece because now they call it Toad and Co. Another like outdoor type top. This is a medium, sold at places like REI. This is a Carhartt size, a large Carhartt sells well for me. And this is a large, flannel, button down flannel. I love the colors on that. This I got, this is a brand Parade. I don't know if you guys are getting all the advertisements on Instagram and YouTube for this brand. It's like a, a body positive, all inclusive sizing um, brand for like intimates, bras, bralettes. And this is like a little mesh dress. So we'll see how that does. It costs me nothing. It's pretty light. Ooh, this is a really good piece. It's a small size, but it's really good. It's Everlane. It's an extra, extra small. But wait till you see this. It's a little Sherpa teddy coat. A little brown button front Sherpa teddy coat at the bins. Isn't that amazing? My bins is $3.49 a pound, if I didn't say that already. If you're gasping, I understand why. That's as far as I know, the highest bins price in the country because I've polled all you guys. And I get a lot of comments from you saying, oh my God, my bins is 179 a pound, 119 a pound. I'm like, I know, it's too much, but I got all this stuff for $132. There's two more huge bags behind me. And I got a couple vintagey things for my house. So it's still good, but I am jealous of you guys. This is a uh, Synergy Organic. It's a size medium. I find this a lot because I'm here in Northern California and I think it's made here in California. Synergy Organic. When I have something like this, I'll put in the title organic cotton and I'll put words like eco-friendly, that sort of thing. Full zip, elastic waist sweatshirt. It feels really good. This I got kind of for myself. This is a cool t-shirt brand, Modern Lux. Will this fit me? I don't know, but it's like a moon and flowers and stuff. Wemby pile. <laughs> so bad. Don't stop watching me. I swear I sell a lot of stuff. You guys are so nice to me. This is Talbots. Why are you buying Talbots, Quimby? Well, because Talbots in the large sizes, plus sizes, still sells great. This is Talbots Woman 2X. It's a cotton spandex striped shirt. I'd get more if it was like a dress or something, but just a nice looking striped 2X shirt. I'm always hoping I'm getting stuff that I can sell for a minimum of, of like 12 or 
I would like to have a different business model. I think it's very smart to have a business model where you're trying to buy things that are gonna sell for $30 and you're not doing as much, but you're making more money per item. I personally can't do that business model right now because this is a part-time side hustle for me that I love. It's my fun job and I can't thrift very often. I'm lucky if I get to a thrift shop, the bins once a week. So that would be extremely difficult to do on a once a week. But if you can go more often and be more selective about items, it's not gonna be as much of a grind, you know? So I suggest that, I just can't do it right now. Bras, 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 this is a very good bra brand to know. So I'll show it to you, it's Third Love. You might get a lot of advertisements for this brand too. They're doing a lot of uh, marketing. Third Love, it's a great bra brand. I can probably get 15 or 20 for a little bra. This is a bolo, 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 so get ready. <laughs> the tag is hard to read. I think it says Gudrun, Gudrun Shozen. I'm gonna show it to you. I'll leave it up there for an extra little bit so you can see it. Bolo, bolo, bolo brand, okay? Just a good, expensive brand. And this is like a sweater dress with little pockets and the hemline kills me the the chartreuse polka dot hemline such a nice piece by the brand wowzer i looked it over i'm really trying to do good with my quality control checking items at the store checking under the armpits checking the seams checking everything because it's expensive to bring home projects this is an alpaca sweater by the brand indigenous Indigenous is another eco-friendly brand that I find a lot. They have a lot of organic stuff. And this is a cardigan, 100% alpaca. So it's a lightweight, soft wool cardigan. Yeah, maybe I can do a lot with you guys. I'm getting so good at going quick. This was heavy, so I probably paid, at $3.49 a pound, I probably paid $6 for this, but, it's a Chico's four. So Chico's does vanity sizing. A three is an XL, so a four is a plus size. So that's what I wanna see in Chico's. See that four? And this is a long maxi, like a modest, super stretchy jersey knit. Extremely long, high-low hem um, with some seam details. That, that will be hard to photograph, and I think it'll sell, especially come fall. Let's have our water break. All right, so I have an awesome find to show you, but I have to be honest. Hey, friends. This is not a very good look with the hip pack, is it? But whatever. This is a total bolo brand. This is damaged, so that's too bad, but I'm getting it anyway. It's super lightweight. Frank and Eileen. This is one of the biggest bolos right now. Sold a pair of pre-owned sweatpants for $100 in this brand. Look at this, is torn up at the sides. I'm gonna trim it all up and sell it as flawed and I think I can still sell it. I'm gonna start trying to sort a little bit. I have a lot of stuff in here. Okay, I keep saying certain things are my best find of the day, but I really think this one might be it. <laughs> this is, uh, don't make me try and pronounce it. It's Gudrun Shojin, I believe. Just memorize the tag. It's a really, really, really good brand. And this is a really good piece within the brand. So let's get that in our Ikea bag right away. Is it weird that I drink out of the mason jar? People have made comments about it. <laughs> I just never really thought about it. I've got little ones and big ones. Maybe it's a California thing. I like mason jar drinking. Oh God, I forgot. This is the best, biggest bolo. It's a tag that's hard to read, so you have to know it. Which is why it's so good you're watching haul videos. Frank and Eileen. Oh, it, why did they do a black on black tag? Made in the USA and it's a large, but it's damaged. But I'm picking it up anyway, because you know, undamaged, this is a very expensive shirt. I've gotten $70 for button down shirts from Frank and Eileen. And this is a black button down. No holes or stains or fade, but for some odd reason, someone cut slits into it. So I'm just gonna disclose that. And I'll st it'll still sell. This is the cutest anthropology dress. Do you need a dress for something? Cause I think I have it for you. 
This is Maeve. Um, it's a U.S. size 12. Maeve is one of the anthropology brands that does really well for me, especially in dresses. Maeve. Look at this. It's a red kind of a sheath dress. So cute, right? And then look at the back cut out with a big bow like do you have a party to go to or a date or it's just so fantastic anthropology mave size 12 dress at the bends i could not be more thankful for that so good oh and now i'm pulling out some eileen you guys this haul is amazing this haul it is a small eileen fisher small petite so eileen fisher does much better in the large sizes, but I'm picking, I'll pick up anything Island Fisher. It's such a quality brand. Extra small petite, but it's a dress. And look at the, um, okay, look at the back. It's got a tie and it's got pleats, you know? Gorgeous fabric. I don't see anything wrong with it. Sometimes I do find flaws under my lights, you guys. 92% viscose and spandex such a good amazing piece let me get my other bags and i'm just gonna bust through with you guys this is another indigenous organic sweater i showed you the tag already here's another tag from indigenous do you guys find it sometimes i think i find things because i'm in california and that, like i i rarely find certain brands that you guys find like lily pulitzer just never find it i think people find it a lot in the south this is an open knit gray lightweight thin cardigan they usually use very good 100 percent organic cotton okay made in peru that's a quality item let me get my other stuff let's do it okay what? friends i'm interrupting the video to throw to show you a few things that have sold from the goodwill outlet bins i sold this lululemon oh my gosh i sold this lululemon tank top it was the invigorate tank it was a crop top I got it at the bin, so my cost of goods is $2 or less, and it sold for $30, plus the buyer paid shipping, and it sold really fast. On Poshmark, I also sold this Marine Layer Men's button-down shirt. It's the middle of summer, and that's like a chambray long sleeve shirt. It sold for $28 plus shipping on Poshmark. Also, I got it from the bins. I also got this from the bins. This is a Banana Republic dress. I don't pick up too much Banana Republic just because there's so much of it for sale on eBay that it's a very competitive market, but this was a true wrap dress. My title was Banana Republic Medium Navy Blue Print Wrap Dress Tie Waist Spandex because it's like a stretchy spandex knit. It sold for $19.99 plus $8.49 shipping. So the buyer's total for a Banana Republic pre-owned dress was $28.48. I also sold these Ann Taylor Women White the Wide Leg Pants Crop High Rise Size 14 Denim XL for $26.50 plus priority shipping. So for these pre-owned wide leg jeans, the buyer's total was $34.99. These sold on eBay, and these did take a couple of months to sell. Okay, this is a Life is Good shirt, the Crusher tee in a medium. These are good for like $15 or $20. Life is Good. And this, this one looks like brand new, and it just says Life is Good. That's, that's true. <laughs> Life is good. It's also all sorts of other things. This is a Chica's spandex size four again. Ooh, this one is new because it's telling me that Chico size four is a 2022 Chico's Traveler. So this is the newest Chico's tag where they're actually putting their vanity size and the conversion to regular US women. So this is a plus size traveler's jacket. Super modern. Travelers makes this super stretchy acetate spandex knit, so that's how you'll find it. And this is a full zip jacket and a plus size. I love plus size. Here's a fantastic free people oversized sweatshirt in an XL. I just don't ever find free people XL. The little bar says free people. Okay, I'm running out of steam. It's almost time to go home. I'm almost all slaughtered, but I wanted to show you this super cool oversized free people sweatshirt just because it is an XL. 
I don't know if I've ever even found free people in an XL. Really crazy oversized distressed sweatshirt with an open back. So that's kind of exciting. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> My allergies are acting up. I really want this J. Crew coat. It's wool. It's a men's coat. It looks a little bit like... Like it just needs a little... It's got some hair on it, but it's got the classic sailor buttons. It's 100% wool. Super heavy, though, so it would be... She said over $12, so I might have to pass on that, but I can't quite decide. This thing is so big because they make everything oversized as it is, and then look at this. Look at how big this is. That's fantastic. This I got for my little baby nephew. A little lucky brand <laughs> toddler sweatshirt. This is an Athleta flannel. I haven't found their flannels before. It's an extra, extra small. Here's the Athleta tag. It always gets a little bit bunched up. At the bins, I'll get an extra, extra small Athleta. Athleta is a great outdoor yoga fitness brand. And here is a flannel, black and white flannel. I was wondering, it, yes, it looks like it's the type that will not in the front if you want it to. Cotton. I got a ton of these Williams Sonoma towels. I love Williams Sonoma. I love this. You can sell this stuff too. So I'll probably end up keeping these, but Williams Sonoma is a great like home goods brand. So I saw these like tea towels. These have this, these ones have some staining. Oh, gorgeous, right? So I got a bunch of those. So I'm gonna wash them and maybe replace some of my kitchen towels. My son's pants that he wears. Thank you, thank you. This is a men's shirt and I got it because it's 100% linen. It's Raffi, R-A-F-F-I. I don't know that this is like a super great brand to necessarily look out for, but a large size 100% linen shirt is coming home with me. Ooh, 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 this is Spider, but Spider is spelled S-P-Y-D-E-R. These are women's active wear pants. They have a side media pocket where you can put your phone and they're fleece lined. So those might go in my box of things to list come fall. This is a Gap Extra Large Tall. I don't pick up a lot of Gap. I'm specific. I pick up certain pieces. I just sold a $20 Gap sundress that I got at the bins. I just buy it if it's a piece that I think is worth buying. Extra Large Tall, and this is a puff sleeve. These are so on trend right now with the smocking. Kind of a cool color. I think someone might want that. This is a Victoria Secret size medium i think it's like a sleep dress super soft stretchy but then the sleeve is all has like a lace down the sleeve it's probably only going to be like a 12 or 15 dollar flip this i got for myself tie-dye rolling stones tee this is actually really really good i looked this up i don't know why i bothered looking it up because it's a top that's 100 percent silk and probably weighs two ounces this is lavender brown, and the comps on this were really good. Lavender brown, never seen or heard of that, but because it felt like silk and it has this flutter sleeve, really pretty blue with a ruffly flutter sleeve, I put it in my cart. And um, this is the great type of stuff to pick up at the bins because it's so light, you're not paying much for it at all. This is Torrid. And it's a two, so that's a two X. This is a good plus size brand to keep your eye out for. People know it and like it. And this is a pretty purple, silky feeling top with a little black lace accent. More towels for me. <laughs> oh, I did get some, a couple shoes. This is Orvis and it's 100% cotton and it's an XL top. Um, I'm, I'm keeping my eye out for this brand because I've been selling a lot of this stuff that's like camping. Let me itch my ear in the video. I've sold some other Orvis stuff that I bought. I've mentioned in other videos that in the summer I try to focus 
on like camping, hiking, outdoor type brands and they've been selling well. I like this. I love, uh, it's a corduroy button down, casual button down, but I love the colors in it. So I wouldn't have bought that like in a size small. A little Lulu. Did you guys see the new Lululemon tag? Someone posted it on Instagram and it's a square. The newest Lululemon tag, instead of having the little round size dot, I'll see if I can find one here for you. It now has a square. I think it's easier to read, but it's just so weird. Like here's the Lululemon size dot. Normally, I found it inside the bra pocket. It's got, the, this is a size eight crop top and it's got numbers and letters all around the eight. I'll put that into Google and I'll get the style name for this. This is more of a crop top, but it's a pretty recent piece with that tag, but their most recent stuff has a square. What do you guys think of that? Let me know in the comments. Change is hard. <laughs> Like, I don't like it. Why? Because it's different. <laughs> this is a Patagonia base layer top. I think it's a kid's. It's like just a black capoline base layer. It's got the little thumb loops. Here's the Patagonia. Their capoline is the stuff that's like their long john base layer stuff. I picked up a pair of dance goes. I really like these. I wish they were my size. I... I'm not going on again about my relationship with shoes, but love hate. These are a size 41, which I think is like a 10 or 11. I'll look it up. I just love these. They're like a coral genuine leather sandal. I just like the color. They have a little bit of toe wear, but I'm trying to only pick up shoes that need like zero work. And these are really good. I can take a, a wipey to those. Let me show you them in every possible way. First I'm doing this, then I'm doing this. <laughs> Do you want to see it like this? Got a bunch of Hannah Anderson. So my friend um, threw me one Hannah piece and I'm like, where there's one? So I started looking, found a bunch of it. So little Hannah Anderson pajama set. I'll show you the tag again. It's just a kid's brand worth keeping your eye out for. You have to spell it correctly. Don't misspell it. This is Hannah. Oh my gosh, a little cheetah dress. Anna, this is the cutest one. I just sold a dress like this for 20 bucks for one little dress. Look how cute, little flower dress. Love it, this is all Hannah. And I have some stuff, Hannah Anderson from before that I will, so I'll, I'll lop this stuff up. This one's particularly cute. It's got little fruits on it. This is Tea Collection, another brand that I pick up for kids. A lot of kids, it's just not worth a lot. If you have access to like, let's say a bunch of Carter's or Target brand Cat and Jack, you can fill up a box of it on Poshmark, a five pound box and sell it for like 25 bucks. I've done that also. Ooh, this was exciting just for me personally because I love these. It's J. Jill Love Linen. If you find Love Linen, look it up because it's a better line of J. Jill. But this is a linen t-shirt, I'll probably keep it. Oh no, that's like <laughs> my Quemby pile's getting bigger. Little tropical print. I love linen shirts. Those sell too. This is a lands and swim skirt with a built-in brief. These little swim skirts and squ and swim shorts do well. Size four. Lands end. I don't pick up a lot by lands end. It's just specific to the piece, but they're swim. Make sure it's very clean. Look on the seat to make sure there's not a lot of wear. Cause if like if you go to the pool and you sit, the seat of your bathing suit can get a little pilly. And then always look at the gusset of the bathing suit because it has to be immaculate. It just does. This is Zara. I don't pick up a lot of Zara. Again, I pick it up selectively by piece, but this is a large and it's a super cute top. Look at this. It's a floral top with a square neckline and that's all smocking and a bow. So I just think someone will want that specific top. Here's a little Victoria's Secret bralette. I can usually sell Victoria's Secret bras for $15 to $20. Again, you want them clean. I found <laughs> this is a little flask keychain that I thought might come in very handy. You never know when you might need to take a shot of whiskey or something out with you. Maybe you're going to a family party. 
and you just need a little help, there we go. These are an awesome find. I was avoiding the shoes, but I just saw this one and I was like, hmm, if you know, you know. I saw that and then I flipped it over and saw that. Fry. Little pointy toe ankle booties and in really good shape. Just a little bit of wear to the toe, but they're a distressed leather. Will these fit me? I'm more of an eight, but sometimes, ooh, hmm. These are probably too high for me. Who am I kidding? Oh yeah, those are nice though. They look really cute with my flare jeans. Uh oh, but it's probably a little too much heel. God, the bottom looks really good. Why didn't another reseller take these? I, I brought them over to Renee and I'm like, is something wrong with these? Because why didn't anyone take them? Maybe they don't know the name Fry? Okay, one little bag to go. Okay, one bag to go. Let me know if you like these long hauls. When I polled you guys last time, you said yes. But the reality of them, this is Spanx, which is shapewear size E, so I'll put their size chart, a picture of their size chart in my listing. Do you guys do that? Spanx, this is shapewear. That's a hold you in, tuck you in sort of thing. This is a gorgeous designer. It does have some stains. So I took a risk at the bins. <clears throat> I think I can get it out. This is Karen Millen. It's a US four. Look it up, friends. Karen Millen, gorgeous blue party dress. The back has this design detail. See how this is sort of open? Totally gorgeous, killer brand. There's some staining here. Some little stains, looks like maybe food or something. But I was not leaving Karen Millen behind at the bins, okay? This is something linen. This is Tommy Bahama women's linen dress in a size medium. So it goes pretty color, right? And it goes off the shoulder. Little mini dress with pockets. Love you. This is an Ann Taylor dress and I got it because it's a wrap dress and it's a size large petite. So a nice size and a great style black and white print with a little tie belt. Don't go out and pick up everything Ann Taylor. These are REI Co-op. I've mentioned before on my videos. REI where it says Co-op, that stuff has been doing great. These are a pair of black women's outdoor camping, hiking leggings. This is a girl's extra large, the North Face jacket i like this one in particular it's a gorgeous color and it's fleecy super fleecy there's a little spot here that i'm not very concerned about because it's minor and i'll probably be able to get it out this one's got the north face all over it i just like this particular fleece jacket full zip so that one should do pretty good you know like just the the pullover fleeces sometimes they're not selling for more than like 20 bucks so look it up if you have the opportunity to get one, but since this is a full jacket, I think that'll do good. This is a fantastic brand to note. Margaret O'Leary, very expensive. Often carried in anthropology. It's like a little shell. I hope you'd see this tag and go, that's pretty and interesting, let me look it up. And this is a very modern piece, tie-dye lightweight top. And I'm gonna finish strong with a great brand to know. This brand is sold at Revolve. If you want to know like trendy young people's styles and brands, you could go onto the website Revolve and see what they're carrying. This is Lovers and Friends. It's a great brand. Lovers and Friends. And this is a sweater dress. Oh, it's so cool. A green knit sweater dress with a big slit. Sexy, sexy. Who's coming over? Because... <laughs> The pile of clothing sitting next to me is ridiculous. But let me let me show it to you just to give you a sense what $132 could get you at the bins. I mean, crazy, right, you guys? Hold on. I mean, look at this. Look at the size of this amount of stuff for $132. 
That's my ottoman and it's towering over my ottoman. So that is a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff, you guys. So thankful. Um, I don't know if you can, I can't see where this camera is pointing, but I just want to say I appreciate you so much. Thank you for your comments and your support. I love you guys and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye. To do this before I start recording. Is that okay? Is it far away? Too close? Too far away? Let's take it a little bit this way. I'm feeling bad about myself because, well, I have a lot of reasons, okay? <laughs> it's not what I was gonna say though. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I'm feeling bad because I, I have piles of stuff all over the place. I think that's like a reseller's dilemma stuff that I need to stain treat, stuff that I, I, they're all special little things that I need to do with it, so it's all over the house. <sighs> My poor partner, Petey. Mm. Let's have our water break, friends. <coughs> Only 13 minutes, I think. I'm getting good and fast. Maybe I'll do this all in one video. Do you guys want to hang for a while? <sighs> I drink so much water and I hope you do too. Stay hydrated so you don't get headaches, so you have more energy. Why not just do it? Might as well just show you the other stuff. I'll go quick. Might as well just show it to you, even if it's long. Some of you guys like long videos and hanging out. And it's so, so good, okay? These are awesome. 7.5. I wish they could fit me. Little pointy two, two pointy <laughs> something. Yeah, I'm just itching. Gosh, the bins brings up my allergies big time, okay?